everyone, it's Karina. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, October. Oh my gosh, I always forget the date. The 25th, I think it is. Yeah, look, look what is going on. Our first snowfall of the year. Isn't that amazing? Uh, so beautiful. I was sitting in the living room uh, watching a movie and I saw the snowfall getting thicker and thicker. So I had to come outside. Yeah. I'm in my backyard right now. I'll take you for a walk around the backyard. All right? Hold on. Okay, so I'm standing in about halfway through our backyard. Our backyard is, uh, our lot itself is like a half acre. But these big trees here is the end of my backyard. I don't know if you can see the snowfall very good. But in the winter when it snows, oh, these trees just look beautiful in the winter. It's a beautiful day. No matter, no matter the hard times, it's just a beautiful day. swing this around all those trees over there are the neighbors yards two neighbors over I think and honestly this is the reason I think we could never leave Wisconsin or the Midwest the four seasons are just beautiful to have I grew up in California and we didn't have four seasons. So I grew up without knowing the beauty of snow. I mean, you can drive to your local mountains for a day or whatever. But when I moved to the Midwest, oh, I just so appreciate having the four seasons. It's always bittersweet when you change seasons. Just for me anyway, I'm always happy to see the next season, but sad to see the previous season go. Just because of the memories you have from that season. Sorry, the camera's shaky. I'm walking and holding the phone. And this is where I would come out and take pictures. Like that would be a beautiful picture for me. When it snows heavy and the trees are just covered in snow. Oh, it's just a beautiful thing. Right now I'm pretty much at the end of our backyard. This tree right here, these line of trees signify the end of our backyard. And that side's our neighbor's yard. But we've got this... uh big this big pine tree in our backyard and when we moved here eight and a half years ago the, the thing was short now it's a monster our house is way up there I'll show you a little more about of our backyard this coming up week. I have some outside chores to do just getting ready for the winter. Cleaning up from the summer and uh, all the leaves blowing and branches falling. Might even have a fire in the fire pit burning some stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is what makes me happy. These are the little things in life that you have to appreciate. Hey everyone. I hope you enjoyed that little walk through our backyard. Enjoyed the snowfall. You know, I was gonna sit inside the house tonight or today 
sit on the recliner and do a little video on staying positive after after the bad things happen or so you might think they're bad things but just staying positive in life and in just in pre appreciating life itself for what you have already so but I think I'm gonna do that right here in the snowfall because it just feels great to be out here in the first snowfall of the season so what I wanted to talk about is when when I left my job back in March, April, whenever it was, you know, you could easily take a situation like that and you can go in a down, down spiral, you know, feeling, okay, what are we going to do now? Everything, life is over as we know it and all this negative stuff. But I didn't, I didn't feel that way. I didn't think that way. I saw it more as a, an opportunity, an opportunity to create something I can do myself to help us to live the life I want to live and spend more time with Glenn and the kitties. I, I try to stay positive on, on everything that happens, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, we can look at 2020 as as a bad year but i look at it look at it as a new life was given to me and the good lord gave me this opportunity and i'm going to take it i'm going to take it and try to do something for myself for us for me and glenn so that we spend more time together i'm not worried about work and how much i'm making you know, money can be important to a lot of people and how big your bank account is or the cost of your car or how big your house is. It's not to me. I don't need material things. We have food on the table. Our mortgage is paid. Our bills are paid. That's, you know, what do you need? We, we've had our camping season. It's done. Now we hunker down for the winter, you know, we'll take rides here and there to go look at Christmas lights or whatever. But I don't need to be going somewhere every day to make me happy. I I don't know, it's just me, I guess. I just, uh, I'm happy doing what I'm doing every day and I know, I don't know, it's... I try to stay away from like people who are negative and just have this bad attitude towards life and because I mean I've been through stuff as well I can easily give up and you know but every day I wake up it's a new day and I thank God every day for giving me a new day to create my own day so that's how I look at life. I don't know. And again, everything I'm I'm saying is just me, my experience. You know, just going on the more personal side. I've been homeless before. I have. I've slept in, in the car I had at the time. It was years ago. But that's something that happened years ago. And I learned from it. And... I just take that and everything I have now. No, we don't have a huge house. Our house is less than a thousand square feet. But you know what? That's okay. I'm I'm good with that. Actually, I think it's too big. We have a nice big backyard where I can watch my birds. And that makes me happy. That fulfills my day. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you my perspective on staying positive, even after you think the world is crumbling around you. For me, it's not about how big our bank account is, how big our house is, how much our car costs. None of that matters to me. You know, right now I see a woodpecker on my, my bird feeder, and that makes me happy. Just the little things in life. The time I have with Glenn and the kitties. That means everything to me. I don't need material things. 
You know, like today being Sunday, it was gloomy. And I love those kind of fall days. It's really pretty. But I was in the I was just watching a movie. I made us some tuna tuna patties for lunch and made some of the peanut butter cookies. And to me life is good, you know. There are many other people that have things way worse than we do. And that's how I look at it. Somebody's always going through something a lot worse than you are. Losing my job, leaving my job was actually giving me a new life. And that's how I look at it and that's how I'm, I'm working with it. Not working, but that's how I'm enjoying it. I love life. I just absolutely love life and I don't want to take it for granted. So that's why I'm out here instead of in a warm house. My fingertips are freezing right now from holding the camera. But you got to love life. I mean, being negative and having a bad attitude just takes all the energy out of you. And I don't have time for that. That's, that's not what God put us here on this earth for. So I thank God for every every waking day I have. Every day I have with Glenn and our kitties. We're okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just loving life, my new life, after leaving my job. It Time is mine again. You know, when, when I was working, we worked a 410 schedule. I got up at 2.30 every morning, worked 10 or 11 hours because I was a leader. I was a team lead. You come home, you make supper, you do some outside chores. You do some inside chores, you take a shower, you get up the next day and you do it again. And it just kind of felt like I wasn't, like I lost a lot in life. All I was doing was working, it seemed like. And when I didn't work, I was too tired to do anything else. So, I think God works in mysterious way, mysterious ways. I truly believe that. Because if I didn't walk away from my job, who knows how I'd be feeling right now. I could have easily fell into a depression or, but uh, I feel so good about life right now. I feel positive. I know things are going to work out. So I'm not worried at all. We have a house that we bought in 2011, but our mortgage payment is less than most people's rents. We got a we got the house at a good price. We got it because it had a half acre yard and a really large garage, and I can sit there and look outside to the backyard and watch my birds all day long in the summer, and that's all I care about. I don't need things. The more money you make, you just buy more things, more material things that you have to upkeep. And I don't know. It seems like the more money you make, the more you want to buy. And honestly, I'd rather have my freedom. Work less and have more of my freedom. I don't need things. Things don't matter in the end. How you lived your life does. You stay positive. Live your life the best you can. Be good to people. Be nice to people. Be good to yourself. I probably didn't say everything I wanted to. I'm just kind of speaking from the heart right now. I don't have notes to go off. But this is just how I feel. So... We got kids screaming in the other backyard there, so I'm going to take along here. All right? Remember to live life. Be positive. Be good to others. Be good to yourself. And until next time.